Hello, this is Daniel Mart, and today I'm going to be doing another review. This time around, I'm going to be doing a, a review for The Loft. Um, so yeah, and this movie stars Carl Urban, James Marsden, Wentworth Miller, Eric Stone Street, and Ma Matthias Sean Yards. So yeah, um, before I begin though, 10 second spoiler warning as usual. For those of you that actually watched the movie and haven't already, stop the video, go check it out, and then come back and watch the rest of this review. 10 second spoiler warning as usual, starting now. Okay, so 10 seconds are up, so for those of you that actually watched the movie and haven't already, um, pl um, please don't comment down below or be, or be messaging me that I never gave you a fair warning because as usual, I did. So as usual, quick synopsis, likes and dislikes, and then the rate. So basically, this is a murder mystery. Uh, we have these five friends who, between each other, between these five friends, they all own this loft, which is basically a room on this really high and apartment building. And basically what they do there is they take their mistresses there, they take their girlfriends there, um, other affairs there um and basically you know have fun and go wild in this room uh without needing to pay for hotels or anything like that as they all you know and yeah basically a place to take their affairs to because they all have wives and the way they put it you know they're men they have wives but they also have their needs and desires so why not have the loft so yeah basically one day one of the guys goes there and he, and he finds this girl who's murdered, um, calls up all the other guys, and basically it's a, it's a whodunit mystery of, you know, who killed this girl. Um, we get a story through flashbacks and, uh, I, flashbacks and prison, not prison, um, police investigation of the girl's supposed suicide, come to find out homicide, um, of the girl. So there's that, and you know through all this we get we basically get an understanding of how each man is, um, how they are with their wives, how they are with you know between each other, and how their um life is, and how ba how much they basically trust each other. So yeah, when I first saw the trailers for this, I'm not gonna lie, it actually seemed kind of interesting, and then I heard the reviews for it, and I heard it was basically complete dog shit, um uh, to say the least, um. So, yeah, I still had an open mind for this movie. For the most part, for the majority of films, for like, for 99 point, for 99 percent of films, I have an open mind um, as to how they're going to be, you know, and I'm not going to lie, it's not the best film, and it's not the worst film, but I do feel like critics and reviewers and whatever are kind of crapping on it more than they should. I actually had a bit of fun with this film. Now, are the characters likable? I mean, they're a bunch of cheating... They're, they're all a bunch of cheating married men, so not really. Um, I mean, some of them are real assholes. You find out through one of the flashbacks that one of, this guy's a, one of the guys is a rapist um, to a certain extent and a drug dealer or drug user. Um, so, yeah. Uh, so, none of the guys are really that likable, but I just had fun with it. I mean, the, 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 it, there's a lot of overacting, there's a lot of underacting for, for the most part. Um, there's a lot of stuff that just doesn't make sense to the highest fucking degree. It just doesn't make sense at all. But, for some reason, I enjoyed it. I don't know why. I can't explain why, but I just had fun with it. For some, I'm, I'm not gonna lie. I just had fun. It, it has terrible writing. It, it has terrible writing. The acting, it's just overacting, just underacting. There, I mean, there is some decent acting, and yeah, but this, I don't know. I, I guess it's a guilty pleasure movie for me, cause I just enjoyed it. I guess. I mean, yeah. I mean, the investig, the investigation is actually pretty cool, and you find, and when you find out the twist. I was like, oh shit, I wasn't really expecting that. So I will give it credit for that. I wasn't really expecting the twist. But then the twist kind of gets a bit convoluted and uh, gets a bit more complicated. Because they say this happened and then more, um, you go more into the investigation. And you find out that like, five other things happened. So the twist is a bit convoluted. But yeah, it is a really... It's really just convoluted. The end is really convoluted. It's kind of stupid at the end. And for the normal person, you just really stop giving a shit about the movie. 
And Uber has a lot of underacting, un, underacting, overacting. You know, it seems like everybody here was just getting a paycheck, and the and the writing for the most part's pretty bad. But I don't know why. I don't. I just liked it. For, for to be honest, I don't know why. I don't know how, but I just really liked it. Just really no. Um, no way to explain that. I just, I guess I had fun with it, I, I liked it, and, yeah, I, I would, I guess I'd watch it again, um, I mean, there's no real reason as to why I should like it, uh, I mean, the, again, as I said before, the writing is, for the most part, it's pretty bad, it's bad to, it's from bad to okay, um, the acting, just overacting, just underacting, um, and the the mystery case after a while the the average viewer just would just stop giving a shit. But for me, I found it somewhat enjoyable. I had fun with it, and I liked it. I guess. Um, is it? Here's the thing. Here's the real question. Is it one of the worst movies of this year? Hell fucking yes. It definitely is one of the worst movies of this year. However, a bad movie can always be a guilty pleasure movie. Enter the loft. That's basically it. It's a guilty pleasure movie. Nah, that's basically it. I liked it. Okay, I had fun with it. I liked it. I have no shame in saying that. And yeah, there's a lot of there's a lot of movies this year that many people hated, and I was like, it's an okay film. I liked. Another good example would be Unfinished Business. I actually enjoyed that film. Pan. I enjoyed that film. Um, Hitman Forty Seven. It was an okay film. I feel like people are shitting out, shitting on that film a little bit too much. But I found it. It's an okay film. It's that one's definitely a bad film, but it's a little bit better than what most people are saying that it is. Um, Transporter Refueled, same situation. It's a, still a pretty bad film, but it's a little bit better than what most people are saying. And yeah, this one I just liked. I enjoyed. I have no shame in saying that. On a scale of one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best, and six being decent. I'll give this a 6 out of 10. I'm probably being generous with that score, but you know, I just get liked it. Guilty pleasure. Here we go. 6 out of 10 is a decent film. It looks decent, okay? One thing I have heard many people say is that it actually looks good. The cinematography looks good. And I will admit, like from a production standpoint, the, cin the cinematography for, for this film is actually pretty good, okay? The rest of this film, you can fucking shit on. <clears throat> but, whatever. So yeah, that's basically it for now. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed. Not already subscribed. I do movie reviews, TV show reviews, and comic book reviews. Comment down below on your on your thoughts on this, on the movie. Most of the uh, comments are probably gonna be why did you like it or it's a pretty bad film. But again, I liked it. Have no shame and yeah. So yeah, comment down below on your thoughts on the movie. And yeah, have you seen it? If not, why not? And if you have, what are your thoughts on the movie? Again, comment down below. Like the film. Um, like the video. Share on Facebook, Twitter, MySpace, or whatever you prefer. Whatever you guys prefer. And that's basically it for now. This is Daniel Mart signing off.